Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makana Man at YouTube with a, another modeling review. In my mission to build every single Airfix 76 scale kit that um, ever existed and ever will exist, I've uh, quite cheaply the German armored car uh, SDKFZ234, a self propelled uh, gun. Very, very unique desert German piece. We have the earlier Hornby grey box star version. Lots of useful information all around including the appropriate uh, humbrel paint size, a little bit of history and uh, various uh, languages written across it. Inside the box, we are met with a massive A4, very clear, easy to read instructions. Uh, detail paint guide, even though it's in black and white. Easy to apply decal sheet, again also massive and pre-cut. And of course a plastic bag with the very old fashioned style runners. Uh, two small ones and one very large one. Uh, they could be broken in half or not. Be careful of smaller pieces snapping. This project is a small one, yet there is a lot of interesting uh, shapes. It's uh, the top of the hull is open, and we've got a long uh, howitzer cannon over a traditional uh, revolving turret. The uh, first step we're setting up the base for the actual cannon and having some very small fragile pieces which takes a while to cut out and position right. Uh, once glued together and allowed to sufficiently uh, dry everything just comes together super easy. This is also quite an um, old kit. There will be some seams and uh, holes I found that uh, the best way to deal with the doors is put putty behind it instead of on top. The uh, two halves of the hull uh, does have a very nice fit with the seam only very noticeable at the bottom or underneath. The wheels, suspension and mud guards were surprisingly last, yet even though a tad uh, tedious and a lot of cleanup went together very very easily. Your kit also comes with decently enough detailed uh, German soldiers. I choose not to model or paint them, only wanting to keep the machine. You have uh, two loaders and a commander. Even for an aged uh, subject snapped together and finished I think this uh, holds itself quite well. I'm uh, very pleased with the overall proportions, look, detail. Uh, this has uh, so far been quite fun to build. My only concern at this stage is the interior is a bit tricky to paint though is the same color as the outside so not too much uh, problem just a little patience and probably hand painted outside uh, airbrushed. The whole project was primed using Tamiya Primer via airbrush. The rest was airbrushed Tamiya and Gunzi acrylic military World War II colors. The pattern is done soft edge via airbrush. The wheels was hand painted. Did a general black wash and uh, dry brush weathering job. Little uh, MIG production pigments around the mud guards and an amber uh, rust wash on the inside just to give a little definition and difference to the outside of the vehicle. The decals were applied. Absolutely loving the uh, number plates with a clear top coat matte applied. Overall with the absolute finish I am absolutely uh, pleased and happy how this uh, kit has uh, come out. Insanely fast to finish in building and painting and again 
regardless of its age, this was not a difficult uh, project to put together whatsoever and the detail and presentation stands out on its own in the rest of my collection of a mixture of uh, modern made kits and vintage kits. This is uh, definitely a recommendation to buy for anyone who's a fan of uh, German tanks, uh, armoured cars, self-propelled guns or anything from the Airfix catalogue. Thank you very much for watching and as always catch you guys next time stay tuned for more armor tank gundam models tutorials and build projects also this is an open door policy channel feel free to leave a comment a response a question and i will always respond see you guys later